is Trina, I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and older. So today I am reviewing the strain Blackjack. If you've never tried it, Please sit down and get comfortable. <laughs> but if you've never never seen it, this is what it looks like. Uh, uh, one piece came off. It's really bright green, isn't it? I mean, in in the light it is, but <laughs> the lighting in here is bright, so I guess it's better to be bright than dark. But yeah, that's what it looks like. It smells beautiful. It feels like I've tried this before, but I've never like reviewed it because I've tried a lot of strains. This is beautiful. Alright. So, let's see. I got some blackjack on the tray, on my rolling tray. I'm going to grind it up, and I'm going to smoke it. And I'm going to read a review about blackjack <clears throat> on Wikileaf. Well, we, I will, uh, not we, <laughs> I will uh, compare what Wikileaf has to say about blackjack and what I think about blackjack, so... That's what's going on. There we go. Hope you guys are having a good evening. I hope you guys have some herb to smoke to help to alleviate the stress and craziness going on in the world. Help you to deal with these impatient fuckers that try to run you over when you're walking. Running errands. That is most unpleasant. So. <laughs> For real. Hopefully you got something to help you to sleep at night. Because a lot of people have had insomnia. They're having a hard time settling down. With all the shit that's going on in the world. It's making people feel uncertain of what they're doing. When you start to feel like that. You need to meditate. Meditation comes in all forms. Sitting down and smoking a joint. That's meditation. Because you're relaxing and you're thinking about your day. Meditation is about that too. Um, thinking about the events of the day. And really understanding why these things happen. So that you can move forward in your day. Instead of stay trapped in your day. I'm going to grab some scissors because uh, I need to cut some of this off, paper off so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. So I'm going to cut a little bit of this paper off so I can roll this blackjack joint. These are king size joints. Uh, I don't always use a full king size joint because sometimes it's too much paper for me. So. so I just cut a little bit off. And these are trip papers, by the way, if you're wondering. Um, clear cellulose papers, all natural um, materials for smoking pleasure. It doesn't have that burnt paper taste to it. That's what's nice about the um, cellulose papers. I was resistant in, uh, you know, continuing to use them because they're hard to roll with for me. And I think that's only because it's king size, really. But um, as time has gone on, I do notice that it does burn a lot cleaner to me than uh, the other papers I've tried. I do like the raw papers and the hemp zigzag papers, but... It, it tastes like actual paper still. So, with these clear ones, definitely doesn't have the clear, doesn't have the burnt paper taste to it. So, yep. Yeah. There we go. Nice, perfect joint with some blackjack. Yeah, Hazy Tree Farms is having some good deals right now. Um, follow them on Instagram, and you can get a free pre-roll of uh, apple fritter. If you ever tried that that strain, please let me know. <laughs> I'd be interested in what people have to say about it. It's funny how these all these names for these uh, these strains, food items, and shit. Anyway, cheers everyone, and thanks for joining me this evening for this review of Blackjack.
Oh my god, this is good. Oh my fucking god, this is good. I just, I wish someone was right here to share it with me. <laughs> it's so delicious. Oh my goodness. This is so good. I'm gonna put this in the ashtray and put it in the ashtray over so you can see it. <laughs> um, let me scoot you back a little bit. Alright, so I pulled up a review on WikiLeaf of Blackjack, so I'm gonna give you the review they have. And like I said, I'm gonna do that and then compare how I feel to what they talk about the experience you're supposed to feel from smoking Blackjack. So, the typical effects of blackjack is relaxed, dry eyes, paranoia, really? <laughs> Uh-oh. Depression, it gets rid of depression, um, if you have a loss of appetite, and if you're experiencing anxiety. So it's weird that they talk about, you can, the effects could be paranoia, but then they say it helps with anxiety. Anyway. <laughs> Here we go. Here's about blackjack. Is this, uh, let me see, the music, I had some music on in the background. Is it still going? Okay. Some calm music, alright. Blackjack is a name applied to two closely related strands. One strain was created by Sweet Seeds and is crossed between Sensi Seed parents. The mostly Indica Afghani land race derived Black Domina and the more balanced Jack Herrer. Oh, okay, so this has nothing to do with what I thought it did. <laughs> Blackjack. Oh, well. I was wrong. <laughs> hey, I can admit I'm wrong. <laughs> um, so the other blackjack strain, sometimes spelled blackjack together, blackjack like black and jack, lowercase, was created by Nirvana Seeds. The latter, blackjack, is a cross between black domina and jack horror instead of jack hair <laughs> and jack horror. Oh my, jack horror. Okay. Nirvana's own spin on Jack Harrer. Yeah, because Jack Harrer said people were having a hard time pronouncing his name, his last name. They said, just think of terror. Terror. Harrer. Okay, that's easy enough, right? <laughs> so they're saying this latter blackjack is a cross between Black Domina and Jack Horror. Nirvana's own spin on Jack Harrer, which is sativa dominant cross between staple strains. Northern Lights, Skunk, and Haze. The THC composition of these blackjacks cumulatively ranges between 15% and 25%. Yes! <laughs> Blackjack buds of the Nirvana variety tend to be smaller and popcorn-like, with pale green leaves and orange pistils that are covered in trichomes. The nugs of the Sweet Seeds variety, on the other hand, are large and dense, sometimes with a purple tint to the leaves. Both varieties are very sticky and difficult to break up by hand. The high resin content of these strains makes them idea for the production of hash and other THC con concentrates. Maybe I tried blackjack in, a, in like a concentrate. Maybe that's where I tried blackjack. Hmm. Both blackjack strains smell and taste of wood and pine, but the sweet seeds type carries over the distinctive floral smell of its Jack hair parent and fresh grapefruit balanced out by the musk and tobacco. <clears throat> Nirvana's variety, while similar, may also have a hint of berries. The smoke from both Jack Black Jack strains is often described as heavy but smooth to inhale. Both taste sweet and slightly creamy or malted on the exhale. Sweet Seeds Black Jack has a high, has a high that strikes the user quickly. It's true. I'm, I'm feeling really elevated right now. <laughs> My eyebrows are like, ah! <laughs> feeling really elevated. Okay, to a sense of heaviness in the head. Yeah, I feel that right in here. Plus, I have a hat on, too. <laughs> As it progresses, the effects are generally uplifting, anxiety-reducing, and depression-relieving. Users report a lasting sense of focus and mot motivation. Although this energy can veer into jitters, and paranoia depending on dosage and individual tolerance. Yeah, I'm seriously thinking I'm not going to get the jitters if you're paranoid smoking blackjack. So, and 
When I smoke too, I'm usually focused on something. I have an intention before I smoke like, before I smoke I'm like, okay, I'm just going to relax and alleviate the pain in my knees. Okay, now I'm going to smoke and now I'm going to create some art, work on some art. That's how, that's how I work with cannabis before I smoke. I have an intention. You know, I'm not just going puffing along, not thinking, absentmindedly smoking. I'm actually taking in this medicine and knowing what I'm taking it in for. So that's the difference between someone who's just partying and smoking, you know, a doobie or whatever <clears throat> and, you know, drinking a pint of whatever, of alcohol or whatever. I'm not judging people who do that, but I'm just saying there's more thought, you know, put into what I'm doing than just mindlessly puffing away at this joint. There's so much more going on. And what happens? Oh, it's my thread coming off. So anyway, I digress. Mm. This is delicious. I love this. Blackjack. All right. Nirvana's Blackjack has many of these same properties, but coupled with a nice bodily effect often described as relaxing. The strong pull of the strain may slow users down, but will not necessarily lead to immobilization or couch lock. The sense of physical relaxation can contribute to relief from uh, chronic pain and can also be a remedy for insomnia. The mental effects of Nirvana's blackjack are often described as more psychedelic than cerebral. I do feel some psychedelic kind of vibe to it, you know, Definitely. Visual distortions, strong time dil dilation, and a generally trippy sharpening of the senses may not be uncommon. Yeah, I'm feeling it already. Because of the possibility of couch lock, um, <laughs> you hear the snoring on the side. <laughs> this is the couch lock. <laughs> and this strains other <laughs> disorienting effects. It is recommended for evening or nighttime usage. Guess what? It's evening. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, where else am I at here? Okay. Oh, because they're saying it could be used as a sleep aid. Yeah, definitely. Both the sweet seeds and Nirvana blackjack varieties have a high that is thought to last much longer than average, from three to four hours depending on dosage. <laughs> when they say dosage, that's funny. Speaking of dosages, when it comes to smoking cannabis, I <laughs> was like, what's a dosage for me? I don't know. What the dosage is for me is I just keep smoking until I don't feel any pain anymore. And that can vary. So, <laughs> yeah. Either strain of blackjack can be grown by newcomers to cultivation for relative ease. Both strains can be grown um, indoors or out. Outdoors, they need consistent but dappled sunlight, dappled, <laughs> dappled sunlight, and a consistent ambient temperature of between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Indoor growing is convenient, as the plants of both strains tend more towards as a bushy indica shape, with moderate height but strong lateral branching. With both strains, expect to see large spaces between the individual bu individual bud sites or nodes on the stems. Sweet Seeds Blackjack flowers in just eight to nine weeks indoors. Nirvana's Blackjack, on the other hand, requires nine and 11 weeks to flower because of their complex arom aromatic genetics. These strains can be very pungent towards the end of the flowering period, which may be a concern for growers looking to keep a low profile. <clears throat> Are we still doing that? Are we still trying to grow herbs that doesn't stink or whatever? This is stupid. Some people's body odor smells worse than the, the, the most pungent of herb I've smelled, so whatever. All right. Both have a typically high yield and can produce up to 500 grams or about one pound of flowers per square meter. That's pretty good. Both sweet seeds and Nirvana sell packaged seeds of their proprietary blackjack varieties online. Okay, so you can buy seeds online and can be grown as clones by obtaining clippings from healthy, mature plants. Independent of their pr producers or genetic differences, the blackjack strains are unique in their boldness. Both are built on sturdy, time-tested strains that impart striking scent and flavor profiles. 
Both also offer a heavy, steady high that lasts longer than average, providing an economic benefit to the consumer. Yeah, that makes it economical <clears throat> if the strain is very uh, strong. If it's high, high strength, then you don't need to smoke as much. But if you have a strain that's low THC, like someone asked me, have you ever tried low THC cannabis? I'm going to just blow through that shit, right? And waste a lot of money. You know, smoke joint after joint after joint after joint and not feeling anything because I have a high tolerance. And no, I'm not going to take a tolerance break because that doesn't make sense to me either. So here we go. Independent of their producers or genetic differences, yeah, the black jack strains are unique in their boldness. Both are built on sturdy, time tested strains that impart striking scent and flavor profiles. Both also offer a heavy, steady high that lasts longer than average, providing an economic benefit to the consumer. Depending on its lineage, Blackjack can be a welcome strain for the busy user trying to energize or lift their mood, or just a delicious treat for the user looking to unwind as the day ends. Agreed, agreed. So, its common usages, as I said in the beginning of this, um, is for depression, loss of appetite, anxiety, insomnia and nausea oh good because i've been getting nauseous every now and then so uh, it's uh typical effects are relaxation dry eyes paranoia creativity and euphoria oh 10 out of 10 for euphoria <laughs> i love the euphoria uh creativity 4 out of 10 paranoia only 2 out of 10 dry eyes 2 out of 10 relax 8 out of 10 so more than likely you're going to be more relaxed um, creative and feeling euphoric than having dry eyes and being paranoid. <laughs> All right, probably the dry eyes and paranoia can come if you're like a new smoker and you just tried it smoking for the first time. So the highest testing on this is 35 percent. Yeah, this is a good strand. I like it. I like this blackjack. It's beautiful, and it's interesting to find out that it's genetics where it comes from. And then the fact that there's two different ones, that there's the blackjack spelled uh, B-L-A-C-K space capital J-J-A-C-K, and then there's the blackjack that's spelled capital B-L-A-C-K connected together with jack lowercase J-A-C-K. <laughs> so that's the other blackjack, that there's two different ones. Because the, uh, the latter, the... Uh, yeah, the blackjack. Yeah, that's from uh, the blackjack strain with the lowercase j is a cross between black domina and jock horror. And then the Nirvana one is a uh, blend of uh, Northern Lights. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, so they're saying that it's uh, Nirvana's own spin on Jack Hare. Okay. Interesting. By the way, it's a very high THC profile. <laughs> Guaranteed. Yeah, this is delicious. I love it. It feels like it's slowing down my heart beat, my heart rate too. My heart was beating really fast, so that whole relaxation uh, effect is definitely taking place. I am feeling that euphoria that I love so well with cannabis. Not all cannabis strains give you a strong sense of euphoria. Um, yeah, that's a that's a misconception. It's still kind of a that's yeah, still kind of something that's out there that people believe. Oh yeah, and let me see. Trying to see where they where they talked about the flavor. They're saying something about that both black stra jack strains uh, often are described as heavy but smooth to inhale. I have to believe. I have to say that's true. I'm not feeling a harshness in my throat or anything. Smooth, very smooth. And I'm excelling out of my nose too, so I'm to drink. Let me pause and grab my drink.
Alright, so I got my drink. Had to travel far and wide. I don't know why I was all the way on the end of the other side of the earth, but we made it. <laughs> yeah, this blackjack strain is phenomenal. Um, and then it's a great value because it's very strong. I'm telling you, if you're a new smoker, you're going to know how much you can handle. I mean, it's like they try to warn you. Oh, no, if you're new, be careful. Don't feel that bowl too much. You might be paranoid for the whole night. No, I mean, you're a responsible adult. You're not dumb. So if you're just starting out smoking, put a little bit in a bowl and smoke it and see how you feel. So I try to make you feel too scared and paranoid. Paranoid, paranoid, <laughs> to try anything. I try anything that's healthy for you, first of fucking all. They want you to feel so scared by trying a lot of these natural things, natural herbs. I don't think you should feel paranoid and scared about it. I think you should learn about it. Learn about it, do your research on it, and then if you feel confident enough, try a little bit of it. And no, I am not your doctor, I'm not your pharmacist, I'm not your, <laughs> I'm not your herbalist, I'm somebody who's tried these specific herbs I talk about on this channel. Through personal experience, I've learned what each plant is all about through partaking in it. So uh, buy yourself some herb books, good herb books. That way you can look at each herb and know which one is poison and which one is medicine. This is really a nice treat because I've been mainly smoking uh, trim and, and I have a few little bits and bobs of herb, of nug, but I decided to get some uh, actual, some actual herb because, um, some nuggage because I've been needing that extra medication, so. This is really good. I'm just going to keep smoking this joint until the video stops because I'm recording on my camera phone in case nobody knows that if you're new to this channel. So sometimes it only allows me to record so much, so, minute, so much time. If I go over 20 minutes, sometimes it just shuts off or 30 minutes or whatever. So we'll just take this all the way till this joint is done because it's delicious. I'm really enjoying it. If you're wondering what the music is in the background, I'll put the link in the description below for the music. It's a nice um, compilation of music here, um, relaxing stuff. A little bit of, what are they calling it specifically? They're calling it, um, it's just called Three Hours of Relaxing and Trippy Electronic Music. And it's on this channel called Underrated Albums. So I'll put that link for this channel in the description below. Boy, this is good. Mm. It's one of those joints you want to smoke all the way to the very end. Black Jack, man. Black fucking Jack, yes. <laughs> it's some good stuff. I feel no pain. <laughs> I don't. I was having a lot of pain earlier. In my knees, my ankles, and in my <coughs> freaking hand. <coughs> Because I injured my th my right thumb. It seems like it healed itself. <clears throat> Not my right thumb, my left thumb. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I injured my right thumb. My left thumb. This is my left thumb. <laughs> God, this stuff is so strong. <laughs> Take two. No, I injured my left thumb on my left hand. Here you go. This is my left hand. And it was really excruciating pain. The pain was so bad that it was... Uh, it was just traveling all over my hand and then up into my arm, the crook of my arm here. It was that excruciating. And last night I did dabs. Um, I had to, man, my God. It was just excruciating pain. And that, that helped it numb it up enough so I could go to sleep, you know. And then I had some uh, THC syrup in a drink. So that helped as well. But, yeah, it, 
this man, this in itself could just put you down. <laughs> mm. Coming to the tail end of this, baby. It's delicious, man. Oh my god, this is good. <coughs> I could just take this and put it into the uh, bomb. What do you think? Is there still something in there? Oh, there's something still in there. I'm going to deposit this into my roach container. That's what a roach is. It's not an actual insect, okay? If you're thinking that, that's gross. No, it's actually like the butt end of a joint. So. You save it, unwrap it, and uh, make more joints. You, just, of course, take the ash part out and just use the green that's in there. So. And it's really strong. It ends up being like the hash joint. So, yeah, that was delicious. Um, blackjack. Let me see if I can end this video off with uh, smoking some blackjack and a cute little pipe <laughs> to end off the video. Let's see how much blackjack is in here. Do I still have more in there? No, I don't. Let's see. Or I could do it in the one hitter. I've got a one hitter right here. You could put your herb on. on and this is another really cool thing that I got free from Hazy Tree Farms with one of my orders. I'm not saying you get it with your order, but <clears throat> I got one of these one-hitters, and I did a video about a one-hitter. Mine's kind of, this is as clean as I can get it, but <laughs> I'm going to put some herb on the end of it, some of this, some of this blackjack, and end the video right. I think I may just crumble it into there, the blackjack into there, if I don't just toss it up all over the place like I'm playing a game. <laughs> this is like gold. This is no game. This is precious medicine. And I feel very, very fortunate to live in an area where I have access to cannabis like this. Um, there's places in the world where people don't have access to cannabis. And I feel for those people because everybody should be able to partake in cannabis if they want to. I'm not saying everybody should. I'm just saying everybody should, should be able to if they want to. If you decide... You want to try cannabis as a medicine? You should be able to. It should be available. It's available as fucking cigarettes and, and alcohol. So anyway, cheers. And thanks for joining me today, uh, this evening, for this review of Blackjack. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you try Blackjack or if you've tried it before, please let me know in the comment section below. I'd really love to find out what you feel, what you think about it. It's just making me feel really really lighthearted and, and just energetic but not feeling like I want to go and run a marathon or some, something like that <laughs> alrighty guys greatest blessings to y'all I'll see you soon stay creative and stay elevated and if you want to donate to this channel you can go to my my um, what is the stuff that I need to show you <laughs> to where you can donate Google Pay, PayPal or Cash App. I prefer Cash App, but you can donate to those other places. And if you donate, I can do a video of your choosing on a topic you choose. You could donate enough money for me to buy a strain that you'd like me to try if I can find it, <clears throat> and then review it on a show. And I, or I can create a one of a kind piece of artwork for you, and it could be can it'll be cannabis infu inspired, not infused, because I'm not selling cannabis. <laughs> Cannabis inspired. So, with that said, various blessings to you all once again, and I'll see you soon. And yes, please, please, please stay highly elevated and creative, please. Because <laughs> too many people have got too much time in their hands, and with that time that they have in their hands, they're doing some very crazy and destructive things. So, enough said. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And you know who I'm talking about if you're doing that stuff. Quit it.